Hey, hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see how to connect Rabbit NQ using Mule ESB. Right? So what is Rabbit Rabbit NQ? Rabbit NQ is nothing. It's a open source queue management system. So where you can publish your message to queue, topic, exchange. Even you can subscribe message from queue, topic, and exchange. So first thing we will going to see how to install a Rabbit NQ on your Windows system. Fine. Right? So simply you go to Google. Okay. Let me go to Google. I will show you. Mm, you can say Rabbit M2 installation Windows. Okay, you go to this site. The first thing, Rabbit M2 will not get directly installed on your Windows machine. You have to install a ERLang framework. Okay, so it's simple. So you have to just download. You know, like. Uh, this one of the installer either from github or either from rabbitmq.com okay it will not get installed first you have to download this first download er lang windows binary file it will take around 5 minutes to take installation it is very simple just it say next 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 and finally it will get installed once this will get installed go to this rabbitmq server 3.610.exe okay so install that also okay once you install so you can see the directory in your startup program so go to go there fine so you simply click on rabbit mq start so, so it, you can stop you can start there are various services available to stop to delete to uninstall your rabbit mq okay see start stop remove uninstall once you have done this rabbit mq provide a very good gui okay so do what okay provide the web application also so to manage your queue your topic and everything so what you have to do rabbit mq provide a console a command prompt console so let me go there rabbit mq just run this and we have a command this command rabbit mq plugin enable rabbit mq management so it will enable a gui for you just paste it here so just press enter once you press enter it will enable rabbit mq gui for you so go to web application say your server name like your pc name and port number is by default 15672 for your gui application click here it will ask for username and password default username and password is guest guest okay i have already provided the username and password let me close everything and let me start again everything okay it will going to ask you for the username and password okay, let's go to g this is my server name and my port number is 15672 it's a default port for your web application okay so if you log out it may ask for the username so you can i have changed my username password so i kept it test test say login so you can see like you can have a queue like uh, you can create the queue from here you can add the message okay we are going to see we have exchange like uh, various exchange like amq topic okay so we are going to see so first thing what you have to do you have to install a amq okay either you can install from exchange or otherwise what you can do you go to help go to install new software and select connector update site any point connector update site and you go to communicate community version and in community you can find amq so search for amq because for me it's not available because i have already installed okay by default you will get it in this community you can see emq connector i have already installed that's why i cannot see so once you once uh, you go to community and select the emq emq connector or transport and it will install the emq connect or transport in your mule pellet fine so let me start i will say file new let me stop the previous one i will say file new mule project so i'll going to connect rabbit mq resume using emqp connector so i will say rabbit mq app okay, for run time it's 3.8 only there can be a multiple run time in your environment you can select depending on your requirement rest of the setting i will keep as it is i will say finish okay first thing i will going to publish a message to rabbit mq let me drag and drop http listener okay do the connector configuration click on this add button 
keep 48081. All setting you can keep as a default. I say OK. Now path I will say AMUP and I will say post. Okay. Now I will look for AMQP connector. This is my AMQP 0.9. So I will drag and drop. I will going to configure it. The first thing you have to provide the exchange name. So let me go to my AMQP. This is my exchange. Okay, let me go. There are various exchanges. So I will use the topic. So I can AMQ dot topic. What is my exchange name? AMQP. AMQ dot topic. So I will paste it here. I will see what is Q name afterward. What is your exchange? My exchange is topic. Okay, that setting you have to do. Let make it a exchange durable because it was durable there also. See durable true. If it is true here, you have to check on this exchange durable. Now go to references. Okay, you don't have to. Look for anything. Uh, go to references or do one thing. Uh, I will say it's a one-way exchange pattern. It's not a request response. I will say one-way. Okay. Go to references. Click on this add button. Connector configuration. Now go to reconnect protocol. So you have to provide the host. So I have host name is Jitendra PC. You have to provide the username. So I have changed my username to test test. So you can provide that. Okay. Okay, no need to virtual host address, no need of fallback address. So just say okay. Now I will say logger. I will say message published to rabbit mq. I will copy this. I will send back send the response back using set payload. I will paste it here. Let me, okay. Let me see. I will show you one thing. Let me uh, remove this and let me run the application. Okay. Let's wait. The application is deploying. It will fail. I will tell you why. Okay. It was saying value must appear on the set payload. That is fine. That is not an issue. Let me check. Okay, I have to provide the value here. I paste it at wrong place. I will provide here. Here I will say the main thing. The main error is different. Let me show that error to you. Let me stop and run again. I will say okay. This time this will be different error. It is deployed. Fine. Okay. So, it, okay. Fine. Fine. So what you have to do when you send the message, it will not work. So for that, you have to make sure you are enabling the exchange durable because it was true in RabbitMQ. So make sure you are also making true here. So let me save the application again. So it will deploy it. Okay. It has been deployed. Now send the message. It was saying message published to Q to MQ. So see, message has been received. It's 12:44 between. Okay. Let now there's a no message. Let me push some messages. So you can see the big line here now. So even you can see the console logger. See, you can see the line now. It was saying one message per second. Now it's reducing because we are not sending any message. Let me send some more. See now again you can see more messages will be coming. Okay, let's wait. See now more message has been come. Okay, now we have sent the message. Now we want to subscribe to the message. We have already published the message. Now we are going to subscribe. For subscribing the message, use the AMQ AMQP in the source region. So let me search for AMQP connector. I, I will. Uh, Implement the second flow. Fine. Let me configure it. I will go to AMQP. Let me copy the name of the exchange from where I have to read the message. I will say AMQP dot topic. Make it exchange durable. As I mentioned earlier, also exchange time. It's a topic. Okay. Go to advanced. Make sure it's a one-way reconnection. 
frequency after every two seconds it will check for the messages okay go to connector configuration go to this red button go to protocol give a name the 5672 is a default port for the rabbit mq the username and password is test test say okay okay so we have done with our connector configuration now i will say logger in logger i will say message subscribe from rabbit mq that's it now what i will do i want to save all messages to my file connect file folder location so i have to create one folder right click new folder okay the folder name is out i will say okay here i will say src test this the sources cls out let me mm, refresh the folder let me check if there is any message available no message let me stop and enable the application again run the application again once i will run the application it will start picking the message from the rabbit mq good the application has been deployed okay so let me push some messages then 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 so you can see lot of message has been subscribed i have published and it has been subscribed let me refresh you can see see this message has been subscribed i have sent okay okay you can see it's very easy now we can see like how to publish the message to the topic so now this is also possibility we have a queue okay we have a various queue if you go to exchange okay if you go to exchange if you go to amqp topic okay by default it will as as bind one queue to the topic okay so now what happens the whatever message we are sending it will go to this queue and it will going to we will going to read the message from this queue if you want to bind existing queue like i have a test queue i want to bind this queue okay to exchange to the m m q p topic so what can i will unbind this okay i will say test queue okay if you provide some other name like bind it will give a no no, no such queue find okay so make sure you are giving the correct name say bind okay this should be unbind okay fine for so, okay this resource is locked let me do one thing stop the application okay because the, this queue has been hold by the that our uh, mqp connector now it has been delete now what we have to do now under topic under amqp dot topic this is our exchange under exchange we have bind this test queue now go to queue if you see the queue you will see there is a no messages right so what changes you have to do go to amqp connector in place of queue name you can give say test queue Okay. Here also. Now save it. Now what happens? The all messages will go to this queue. Okay. Currently there is no messages. Let me check console application has been deployed or not. Let me stop. Let me run. Sorry, I haven't run the project. Let me run. Okay, the application has been deployed. Let me send lot of messages. One at one time, I was sending lot of messages. It was sending messages published. Okay, so if I send the message, I let me verify. See, you can see the message. Three point four messages per second. Let me send more. See, you will see more and more messages. See, okay. Even if you go to exchange, if you see the topic, you can see the graph there also. It's same. Go to queue. the same graph fine go to exchange thank you 
it's same graph okay so what we have done previously we are directly sending a message to amq.topic and this by default create one queue for you queue for you and it was okay saving the all message to that queue and we are subscribing from there but it is possibility we can bind a existing queue to the amq.topic right so this is very simple and let me verify if i am able to face the messages let me refresh we have faced lot of messages see we have content also let me delete all this file i will show you some better example here now instead of this message i will change it my message i will put some other messages let me open the notepad i'll copy this i will paste it here that's fine i will make it text i will say send the message has been public published to rabbit mq let me go to there let me check okay it has created a file in the source for out folder let me refresh it see the whole message has been came here fine so now you know like how to connect rabbit mq using mule swap amqp connector okay if you like my video just subscribe to it thanks for watching my video